Paige Selena Washington coming to you from inside Oracle Arena. The NBA Finals return to the Bay, but this is one of the last games that will be played at Oracle Arena. And if these walls could talk, they would have a story from the last five Finals appearances, but they can't, so we talk to fans instead. Hey, popcorn here! Fresh popcorn! Right now we're here. It's going to be a tough game tonight since we don't have Clay, but go Warriors, yeah, baby. there you go. All right, go Warriors. We got injuries, but it doesn't matter. It's about the heart, Ooh. and we got the heart. Draymond's got the heart. He's going to push us to the victory. I believe. I believe. We believe. Hey, Ace Calm Air's here. Who's ready? What's it like just being in this atmosphere, being at Oracle, knowing that this is one of the last times the Warriors will be here? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's nostalgic. Um, it's a little sad, but we're looking forward to the new stadium. Great experience. It's never been to a finals game before, and, and we're really looking forward to it. One, two, three. What's the vibe in the city right now, or even last week, leading up to this moment? Well, it's in, it's insane. I don't. I think everybody is wearing a Raptors shirt, Raptors jersey. I mean, Jurassic Park is out of this world, yeah. and it's all over Toronto and all over Canada. You, right you have now. to understand what the Raptors are to the country of Canada. We've got 33 million fans supporting one team, and that's it. It's like your only child. So it's so much pride across the country. It's amazing. Game four of the NBA Finals returns to the Bay on Friday, and we've got continuing coverage on our ABC10 YouTube channel and, of course, on ABC10.com. Coming to you from the NBA Finals, I'm Lena Washington, ABC10 Sports.